had an awesome summer and yes, autumn is approaching. Let's relish the remaining warm days with Yurika's Memories of Summer inspired menu. I'm recreating one of my favourite lunchtime meals for you today and although it reminds me of summer, it may be enjoyed any time of year. I'm serving sweet corn fritters with avocado salsa, spicy crayfish tails and for dessert, a delicious strawberry shortcake stack. I'm starting out with a shortcake part and for the cake you're going to need five eggs. Make sure the bowl is clean and free from any traces of grease as this does affect the sponge. Eggs are light and fluffy, now add the sugar. Those eggs are ready and you can test this when you lift up the whisk. The egg should leave a trail on the surface that's visible for longer than three seconds. The next ingredient going in, cake flour. The unusual thing about this recipe is it doesn't use baking powder. And gently work that into the egg, trying to trap as much air in the batter as possible. And now some vanilla paste, or you could use essence. Swirl the vanilla paste through. And last, some melted butter. Work the ingredients together. And now divide the batter. I've greased in line three 20 centimeter cake tins. This goes into a preheated oven, 170 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Now for the spicy crayfish tails, I've already heated up a pan and in goes some sunflower oil. Now just heat the oil through gently. And while that's heating up, I've got some thin coins of ginger I've got four cloves of garlic, and these are in halves. Some green chili, this is chopped already, and a little fresh coriander. And now pound that into a rough paste. I love these fresh aromas coming through from this paste. Now we're gonna fry off this paste, scrape the paste into the side of the pan. That looks amazing. Stir that in. And the aromas of the garlic and ginger start wafting through. The oil should be on about a medium heat. And if you're a new cook, try to start out on a lower temperature so you don't burn the paste. Now add some red chili powder. And you can make this mild, medium or hot. I'd say about a medium for me. Two teaspoons of red chili going in on the side. and just stir that through quite quickly. Now in goes the tomatoes. Time to spice up the tomatoes and season them. Firstly some salt, a level teaspoon of coarse salt, a pinch of turmeric, some coriander, some cumin as well, and stir that through. And now the crayfish tails going in. This really is the star of the show. I don't want the crayfish tails to stew in the sauce. I actually want them to fry just coating them in the spicy tomato. And now in goes some boiled water. Now just to balance the acidity of the tomatoes, a pinch of sugar going in. And that's our crayfish tails done. For the sweet corn fritters, I've got a tin of drained sweet corn here. And to that, I'm going to add some flour, baking powder, sugar, chopped green chili, red chili powder, 
fresh chopped coriander and one egg and some milk. Mix the ingredients together and season with some salt. I've preheated a pan already and I'm using these egg rings. Place them in a hot pan. I've also sprayed non-stick spray into the pan and now just grease the rings. and pour in some oil. Now scoop the batter into the rings. Turn up the heat and leave them to brown. Once the batter sets, remove the rings. And do be quite careful, I've got kitchen hands, but they do get quite hot. Flip them over. These are now golden brown on both sides, so just remove them from the pan. That's the cake. They've cooled down already and now for the first cake going onto the plate. And now some syrup. And you can also flavour the syrup with a liqueur or some spices and work that to the edge. And I've whipped some cream already with a bit of sugar and vanilla essence. You can be quite generous with the cream. That's what makes this dessert work. And now another layer going on top. More syrup. And then a little more cream. And for the last layer, Place that on top and again just work the cream over the top. Now the strawberries go on top. You can also use raspberries. Building a neat little stack of strawberries and that's the last one going on top. Drizzle the remaining sugar syrup on top of the strawberries. And that's the strawberry shortcake stack done. Isn't this the perfect lunch? I've got the sweet corn fritters and I'm serving that topped with avocado salsa made with some red onion and fresh coriander. I've sprinkled that with some black pepper, the main course spicy crayfish tails and for dessert, the strawberry shortcake stack. I hope you enjoy it.